evening. Good evening, Ezrit. Good evening. Well, it feels nice and warm in here. I was just passing the post office and they gave me this letter for you, Josh. Thanks, Ezrit. Won't you sit down and visit the spell? No, it's getting like I'm late and guess I'll drive on. Good night, all of you. Good night, Ezrit. Who's the letter from, Josh? It's from Reuben. Says he'll be home from France for Thanksgiving. Well, that's what he been saying for. Terry, you better put some camphor and goose grease on that child's breast. Sounds like he was going to have food. Keep his teeth, Father. Wish I had one of them rubber rings for him to cut his eye teeth on. You give him that gold brick on the mantle. That's what I cut my eye teeth on. <laughs> <laughs> Reuben will be mighty proud of that boy. Gosh, I plumb forgot. Reuben ain't never seen it. We'll have to put hobbles on Reuben when he gets home. <laughs> <laughs> Father, how you do talk. Silas, if you grease them boots and start them by the fireplace, they'll go on easier in the morning. Don't think I'll be able to get them on until I've worn them three or four times. <laughs> <laughs> While it's about bedtime, Jim let the cat in and put the carpet up to the door. Rosie, you play something on the melodeon and we'll sing it. Up to the door, 